All right, I used canned sweet potatoes for my sweet potato casserole. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. This recipe can be found in our gluten-free, dairy-free edition of our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Our new lay-flat hardcover with full-color pictures makes gluten-free, dairy-free cooking and baking quick and easy once again. This book is available in print and ebook form at livingonadime.com. All right, I used canned sweet potatoes for my sweet potato casserole. But if you want to use regular sweet potatoes, that, I mean fresh sweet potatoes, all you have to do is throw them in the oven and roast them at 350 degrees for approximately 45 minutes, peel them, chop them up, and put them in your dish, okay? Now, just to save on dishes, I put my sweet potatoes in, and then in a measuring cup, I add my sugar and my eggs. This recipe is in the description below. My vanilla and my dairy free butter. Then I just stir it all around. Then I just pour it all over my sweet potatoes. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can, if you want the marshmallow top, just bake this at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, if you want a crumb topping, which is what my recipe calls for, then just add your butter, make sure that it's melted. You want your butter and then your gluten-free flour, brown sugar, stir all that and then we'll add our pecans. And this is a candied pecan topping instead. Now, if you use your marshmallows, if you want the marshmallows, after you've baked your sweet potato casserole, then put the marshmallows on top and put it back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes until your marshmallows are melted. Then you're gonna put your topping on top of your sweet potatoes. Then we're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And here you have Thanksgiving dinner all ready. All the yummy goodness. Right there, ran out of bowls, so I had to use my big bowl. And there's the apple pie that my family dove into before I could stop them. 